we're gonna head to the Phnom Penh night market, which is one of the bigger night markets. Uh, I think it's the second biggest market or like top three markets in Phnom Penh. So we're gonna go check that out, get some food, see what kind of crazy stuff we can eat. Maybe take a few more risks tonight. Well, I'm on my way. I'm almost there, but a, maybe a kilometer or less away to the Royal Palace. It's a pretty nice area. I was walking through here like last night, pretty, you know, late. It was like 11 or 12 and it was nice and cool. Wasn't that many people. Now it's a bit busier. We got some of the monuments down that way. The uh, Independence Monument down there and one of the one of the guys that helped bring democracy, one of the leading leading uh, kings, I, well, maybe it was a king here, I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, it's a pretty nice little area. People are walking and rollerblading. It's quite nice. It's pretty hot right now, but I've been slowly getting my body, you know, used to this heat that we have here. It's probably like 30. 33, 34, 35 degrees right now, but I'm getting used to it. I did some pretty serious sauna work before I came out to Southeast Asia where I was hitting the sauna like three or four or five days a week, trying to get my body a little more acclimated to these greasy hot temperatures out here. So I think it's made a difference. I think it's made a difference. But uh, yeah, we're, we're cruising. Got a pretty good pace here. Kyle's not too far behind. Alex isn't too far ahead. I'm kind of in the middle right now. And we're going to see how long it takes to get there. I think we're, we're closing in here, so... But yeah, it's a busy area. Just across the street. Managed to get across. But you kind of got to pick your gaps here. Because even if there's a crosswalk. Much kind of like Vietnam. Or many other places in Southeast Asia for that matter. You kind of... Just kind of got to go for it. Find your gap. Vehicles will slow down if they see you and not hit you but uh, for me at least you know knock on wood hasn't happened yet but uh, the eye contact with the drivers don't hit me don't hit me I'm just trying to get across this road it's not the world here where pedestrians have the right of way cars have the right of way they do what they want they go where they want and you just kind of have to squeeze in between so that's what we do these guys here playing a local game of kickball. It's pretty impressive. They just use their feet. And their head, I guess. be limber to play that game. Can't be throwing these high kicks out without doing some stretching first. And if you can, whew, all the power to you. <laughs> Just saw this cutest little toy poodle or miniature poodle on the scooter with like two people. Love dogs, love animals. I think we're kind of at the uh, Royal Palace here. At least the outer gates. Street vendors selling stuff. This is where Alex came today, so I think he had a pretty good time. Let's see what he says. Let me catch up with him. Let's go sneak up on him and see what, he, see what happens. What's your name? What do you want to do? <laughs> we caught you red handed on camera. It scared you, the whole thing. It's very theatrical. It could be a hook, maybe. Who knows? Not scared. How, you went to the Royal Museum today? Yeah. How was it? What's your. Uh, no, not at the Royal Museum. Royal Palace? We went to the na uh, National Museum of Cambodia. Okay. And your uh, thoughts afterwards? It was, was pretty it cool. Experience you uh, like to do? Glad you went? Yeah. Okay. Went, it just went through all the. Just had like artifacts from all of the history of Burr and, and Cambodia and. How long did you stay in there for? 
like uh, I was there for maybe an hour and a half or so. Okay. Yeah. I just like slowly went through everything. You could probably rip through it quicker, but there's a lot of shit to read. Things like that probably make you glad you learned how to read when you were a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Big boys there. That is interesting food there. Probably some interesting mouth textures on that. She uh, allows us to redeem these like these like free or like discount voucher things you get from cracking the can of beer. You pull this thing back, and underneath this thing, it'll tell you if you won or lost essentially. A, a beer, or it'll have a dollar. Okay. A dollar value. Normally, these beers cost about twenty five hundred of their currency. And if you come with a winning pull, they charge you anywhere from 500 to 1,000, depending on the vendor. And so we finally found someone that would actually take these things, she did. So we cashed them in, and we went and just crushed a beer. And we, after we crushed it, we had two more winning things. So we're back here, we got another one. Crack them if you got them. Crack them if you got them, son. <laughs> so we just thought we'd tell this cool story, because you know, yeah. it's uh, very exciting for us. Our day. I, I, sorry, I was gonna say, our winning percentage has been at least 50%, maybe more. It's pretty good. I literally have like three more of these things in my Same. in my, in my yeah. bag that I don't know if I want to lay them all on this sweet little lady right here, but if I will, if I do, you know, we'll we see know what happens. Hey, we know where we're going now. <laughs> For now, if we find a better place that people have told us, some places will charge you as little as 300 or 500 if you have the, 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 the free pull. We haven't confirmed that we might visually get, yet. Maybe we, that's bad information, but we might also might be getting the uh, uh, Farang discount. If it's you true. Will. <laughs> so we'll we'll keep you posted if we find a better deal. But for now, hey. we're not we're not mad. That's we got so... it. Cambodia beer. It's not bad actually. Yeah. So we have just arrived at the Phnom Penh Market Night Market. It's like one of the biggest night markets in Phnom Penh. Got Bandwagon Boy Two here. And we're gonna go for a little walk around and see what we see. I think we're currently in like the like the buy stuff, like clothing, like knickknack area of the market. You can get your watches, you can get your belts, you can get your shirts, your shorts. We got one food stand here I see. Selling the all Turkish kebab burger. Okay. And shawarmas. What are these prices looking like here? Three bucks. Not bad. Three fifty. Shorn with a wrap, shorn with a pita. That's something yeah. I might come back for. Okay. Oh. Big boy prime. Corn. Okay. How much are those down there? Not that. Yeah, how much are these right here? How much are these? Uh, Ten thousand, yeah. Ten thousand for the whole thing? Okay, okay. One ten, two thousand, yeah. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that. Okay. We gotta do a lap. We're gonna do a lap, but. Meat on a stick, classic meat on a stick. How much for one? Uh, this one two thousand yes, sir. Two six one dollar. Two for one dollar? Okay. Chicken, beef? Uh, beef. Pork? Chicken. Uh, chicken gut and uh, beef. Chicken heart? Uh, chicken hearts? Yeah, yeah. Chicken. Okay. Uh, pork. Okay. How much for pork? Uh, yeah, uh, two thousand yes. Two thousand. Two thousand? Yeah. For one? Yeah, yeah. For one. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Block. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Look at all these like mats rolled out here. Yeah. We just want you to be like a Aladdin basically. Just going around. Got a carpet. Mangoes over here. I gotta watch my head here for these, these beams. I've gotten lucky so far, but you know, sometimes your luck only goes so far. More meat on a skewer. What do we 
got here? Some cauliflower and and let I'm not sure what these things are here, but we cucumber maybe? A lot of meat on the stick. Different kinds of meat on the stick. Same, same, but different over here. Okay, we've got an area to sit down here. How's it going, gentlemen? Where are you guys from? Oh, the kingdom that's united. What are you guys ordering tonight? Pad Thai. We're not, we're not in Thailand, guys. What are you doing here? You guys came from Thailand. You can't let it go, can you? Yeah. Ah, uh, you know, I feel, I feel you. I can't let, I can't let it go either. Got to wear my shirt here, right? I love a good pad gopao. That's that's my favorite dish, pad gopao. Oh, really? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, you get the egg on top, the meat, the rice, muy caliente. <laughs> I wonder what these are here. Are they some kind of wonton. It's all looking very repetitive here. They all got the same kind of stuff. The question is who's got the best deal? Yeah, I love a good deal. Walk here. This guy got smoothies. Sugar cane, okay. What? Sugar no no, I'm just looking. Sugar cane uh, machine, they oh, process it right here, they put it in. Those are the sticks back there, you see? He's grabbing a stick. He comes in here, just kind of shoves it in. Uh, okay, watch out. They're just juicing it. This is like a fancy juicer. Okay. I may have to come back and try sugar cane juice, because I have not tried it yet this trip, so I've heard some good things. More meat on a stick. Seems to be a big meat on the stick area here. More meat on a stick. What's you guys know what this is here? What's this here? Is it shrimp? Like meat. Meat. Okay. You know what this is here? Dumpling. Dumpling? Yes. Is it pork, beef, shrimp, uh, chicken? No, no pork, no meat, and um, chicken. Uh, Vegetable inside. Vegetables inside, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, a lot of the same, same. Thanks, man. I'll make them back. Well, we're gonna take a little look around here, figure out what to get. I don't know where Alex went, I lost him. Probably doing his round somewhere. But I will be getting some food here. Not quite sure what yet, but the hunger is building, so stay tuned. I'll hit you guys back when we get some food on a plate or in a on a skewer or something, and we'll show you what it is, and we'll tell you what we think. All right, so what'd you get here, boys? Just some prawns to start the evening. Some prawns to start the evening. Deep fried prawns. Yeah, we got uh, six basically like deep fried prawns like some hot. for 12,000 riel, like uh, three US dollars. We went with the power move of like sharing it because we might have some more food here. So and they, did, they did reheat it for us, so it does yeah. seem kind of hot. Do you, want me to get in? Do you want me to get in on this too or not? I don't care, it's up to you guys. You guys can just put this between the two of you or we can keep going, the three of us. Are you going to help them? Are we doing this thing, the three thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're okay then, with that. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're here at the night market in Phnom Penh and um, it's not, we're, we're kind of finding that like every stall is almost the exact same, kind of just 
selling the same stuff and we're really trying to eat some some different kind of food to showcase and uh, it's all just kind of like meat skewers and like almost every stall fried rice pad thais like and meat skewers soup yeah and it's not that that's bad it's just that it, every stall is the exact same so we were trying to like do a video of showcasing the night market but every stall is the exact same so we're not so sure that it's really worth uh, putting it up for and you it's guys. Like, it's like one circular loop. It's not really that big of a yeah, night it's market. Quite in terms small. of the food part. Yeah, of it. this is the whole thing, literally. Uh, not that this bad, but this is this is that that's it and done. Usually night markets are you know, but it's it's fine. Just um, trying to eat some different stuff for you guys. What do you got there? So I got they made a, like a bon mi for me here. There's like basically crispy pork belly in there. And some deli meats, cucumber, green onion. They had like a pate in there. Some chili sauce, some pickled vegetables on top. Looks decent. The bread, I don't know how fresh it is, but. Mm. Good. Good? I'll, do, I'll get a half. I'll get a half. Definitely not as good as the one I had in um, Siam Reap, but. For what it is, solid seven out of 10. So we have left the night market. We are cruising down this kind of central street. Looking for some more food. Just had a, like a half a banh mi for a thousand, or one, one US dollar. We got the uh, crew back behind me here, keeping their head on a swivel. Yeah, we're just kind of cruising right now, trying to find a next future meal or meat on a stick. Trying to get those local prices. That market was a kind of a bust. Seems like a bit of a, I don't want to call it a tourist trap, but in terms of the prices and the options. Everything was pretty similar here. We got a meat stand right here. What's this guy? Chicken heart? I may have eaten chicken heart last night for all I know. Yeah? I might have. It's very similar to that. That's chicken heart? Yeah, these are chicken hearts. Oh my Ch goodness. Chicken hearts? Same thing. Yeah. I may have eaten chicken heart last night. I'm not 100% sure. It was good though. I'm mad about it. How much for the each one? For one? 1,000. 1,000. So I put it last night. I'm pretty sure I ate chicken heart last night. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm fairly confident now at this point. That last night I ate chicken heart. Well, we just got some meat on a stick, like uh, kind of sausage balls, and yeah, I've uh, come to the conclusion that last night I thought I ordered four chicken skewers. The, what I ordered last night, and what I just ate just now, definitely chicken hearts. They're actually not bad. They got a little minor crunch to them. They give you kind of like a pickled garlic and slaw thing with chilies. You take the stick, you pick, you poke a little bit of garlic with it, and hey, chicken hearts, not bad. If I see them again, I'll probably buy them. It was like one U.S. dollar for two skewers of chicken hearts and one skewer of like a pork sausage ball thing. And I'm not mad about it. It might have been the best thing I've eaten today. That banh mi was pretty good too though, the banh mi, so. Oh. <laughs> it's called Golden Nura Villa. So we just happened to be where we we're gonna be staying. They got 50 cent draft beers, like all day, so we're booked in. Three nights, 35 US dollars change life's good that's the story we're sticking to it folks how do you feel about that Alex I think it was uh, fate waiting to happen <laughs> and um, the funniest thing is that uh, when we sat down where I was like oh, I think it's down there I think it's down here and yeah Kyle's like looks up at the sign or something <laughs> no I saw the Wi-Fi I saw the oh. Wi-Fi <laughs> passcode and I, I was like that sounds really familiar to the password for the Wi-Fi yeah well, you know, sometimes in life, things just come full circle. 
So we got closing the night down here. I came back to my guy's crispy pork stand. This is the man right here. I just met this guy just now. He speaks, what's your name again? David. David. Yeah, David. That's a very Americanized name. I know. This is my crispy pork here I get. 10,000 Rio. It gives me a great price. This is my uh, friend here. Doesn't like to be on camera. Oh, by the way, if you check out my car. So we're gonna eat this here, it's uh, gonna be everything good. Everything is about uh, our culture. This is your car here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, uh, both. Is it's that a Subaru? What is this? Uh, Camry. Oh, Toyota Camry, eh? Everything is tuned, but uh, the logo that I put on here is everything about my culture. Wow, that's quite the decal, man. <laughs> this guy, I just met him, he speaks great English. And he's just showing me his car and how his car has decals all about the kind of country he lives in here and the correlation to his his land. Great, great spoiler too. Check that spoiler out. Very impressive. Very impressive. The people you, the people you meet while you travel, you know, you can just never you never know who you're gonna meet. I had this crispy pork last night. It was a sol solid 9 out of 10. And I'm going to dip in right now. I'm going to see how it is. This guy right here. If you're ever in uh, uh, Phnom Penh, it's pretty close. It's very close to the Monument Tower or the Mon uh, Independence Palace, the main drag. Close to this one bar here called... Cambodian bar. We're like the only white people in here. Slovakia is with me. We just got amazing crispy pork. And now we're in this like. Like I had no idea it was this busy when I was outside. I came inside, it's bumping in here. We may have some tequila and beer coming, so we'll see. Kyle and Alex are supposed to be on their way. We will see. We will see.